Now, so state the type of quadrilateral formed by the vertices 1, 1, 4, 1. So the best thing that is there is just draw a rough picture of it. It will be easy for you. So 1, 1 could be here. 1, 1. Then 4, 4. So it's 4. Suppose 4 is here. 4, 4 could be here. So we will have this one. And then there is 4, 8 which could be here. And there is 1, 5. So it could be here. So this looks like a parallelogram. But you may not be every time be able to assess it. So you can even do one thing. Find the difference in the y coordinates. At 8 minus 5 is 3. If you see 4. 4 minus 8. This is 4 comma 4. This is 4 comma 8. So the difference in y coordinate is 4. And here it is 1 comma 1 and it is 1 comma 5. So the difference in y coordinate here is also 4. That means opposite sides are equal. Similarly, the difference in x coordinate here is 8. Um, uh, the x coordinate is 4 minus 1, 3. Here it is also 4 minus 1, 3. So if you see that the opposite sides are equal, for all that matters, it could even be a rectangle. So it could be either a parallelogram or it could be a rectangle or even a rhombus or a square. But it cannot be a square or a rectangle simply because if it was then this would have been 1 comma 1 and this also could have been 4 comma 1. In that case it would have been rectangle because no two lines over here are parallel to x or y axis. Two lines, these two lines are parallel but these two are not. Hence. You, the best way that is there that it is maybe you could find the difference in x coordinates of consecutive ones, a difference in y coordinates, you will get pairs 3 and 3, 4 and 4. And just draw one of them. If that is the case, two of the opposite sides are congruent, that means it is either a rectangle or a parallelogram. It cannot be a square or a rhombus. And then check whether by drawing it roughly, check whether this one seems to be a line parallel to the x-axis. If it is not, it's definitely not a rectangle. So it's clearly a case of a parallelogram. And hence, this is definitely a parallelogram and that's what we have over here. The typical conventional way of doing it is use the distance formula between pairs of lines, points and then show that the opposite sides are congruent. But in an MCQ system, the, the faster way of doing it is the way I told you right now.